play of the goaltenders. Nick Patterson nearly matching Matt Vince, the 2010 goaltender of the year. Pound for pound in that first half, but right there, Rochester knifes it from the wing, and they go back up by two. Make it Cody Jamison, the rookie, with his second goal. Of his Arguably one of the best goalies in the world, but he said we'd like to thank Junior for everything he has done on and off the floor for Rochester over his years of being here. And right there, Gary Gate gets inside and scores his first goal of the 2011 season on a bouncer that trickles past Nick Patterson. Defended by Nick Inch, the Push toughest guy in the league by far. Tony Bond, Terr, and him are gonna go at it. Bond, Terr, dangerous in his own right, 6'3", 259. But this is why the Swarm got uh, Rory Smith in the offseason for defense and to be an enforcer. And the referees are letting him go. Still going. This is one for the ages. And finally, the referees, before anybody hits the carpet, break it up. Yeah. Looking inside, and Minnesota comes out of that TV timeout hot. Ryan Benesh. It is 25-year-old from Kitchener, Ontario. It's been a the second half has slowed down to be a half field game. Who does that favor? Yeah, you know what? I think it actually favors Rochester. It seems like they've actually slowed the pace down a bit. But you know what? There you go right there. Minnesota just turned the pace up when Andrew Watts got his third of the game. They need, they need that transition. Trick by Andrew Watt to make it a 7-6 game and nearly tying it up there. And a big hit put on. Seeing some limited action was Tyler Burton. Now he goes back to the front five for this offensive squad for Rochester. Craig Point from the point. Puts Rochester back up by two. Once again, nice shot by Craig Point. Give him a little bit of time. He finds the top corners. And uh, you know, you had Gary Gate driving to the net. Playing a full 60 minutes, trailing by two. You got all the motivation you need here in this game tonight. Yeah, Minnesota's got to play the full 60. There's got to be a sense of urgency. Uh, Alan Crawford's putting in there, but there's got to be a sense of urgency in that fourth quarter. You got to keep pulling it on. Callum Crawford pours it on right there. I think they had a miscommunication with the sh with the clock because it says there's only three seconds. You're making these decisions in the offseason. These are not easy decisions, but you have to look at the other side of the coin and say, you know what? We've scouted the talent that we have now, and we want them to shine, and we got to give them an opportunity. And when players like John Grant leave, you give them that opportunity. Right now, Ryan Banesh gives Minnesota a better opportunity for victory because he ties this game at eight. 12.45 to go. You want to be taking a five-minute penalty, you know, 8-8 eight, eight in the fourth quarter. I think Cody might be regretting that tomorrow, but we'll see what comes out of it. He might be regretting it right now. Inside, Matt Giles with his first goal as a Minnesota Swarm. And he gives Minnesota a 9-8 lead. And Hazen's going to throw the challenge flag. He thinks Giles was in the crease when he shot it. Former member of the Rochester Nighthawks back in 2004 and 2005, Matt Giles in his 13th season out of Peterborough, Ontario. 35 years old and still going strong. Yeah, he's a true veteran on the Minnesota team. He's a great guy to have around the dressing room. And you know, he's been all over this league. He's played for a number of teams. And you know, he brings it every night. He wants to be here. He can play both ends of the floor. Four for about 40 seconds after that. Left alone, and through the legs of Matt Vince goes Giles for his second goal of the fourth. The coach, I'm assuming, to get that the, the right personnel in there at the right time. Yeah, definitely. They have to have that chemistry when they're passing the ball around. Evans passed Patterson to cut the lead back to one. Schiller had it on transition and found Sean Evans 
who goes five hole to cut this lead to 10-9. We talked about momentum swings right there. Sean Evans just came. Third of the Nighthawks last season with 23 goals. He averaged nearly four and a half points per game. And just like that, five seconds from the last goal, Sean Williams ties it up at 10. Yeah, listen, once again, momentum swing, right? Right from a penalty, Sean Evans puts one in. Right off the faceoff, Sean Williams, top corner. Tie game, right? It's all momentum swing in this league. Patterson from his counterpart on the other side. As point comes across, Patterson makes the save. No, it goes through. Rochester wins the game.